Now I love to speak of Jesus, that name how sweet it sounds. Oh, tell it out, you faithful, to watch the motor's bounds. I love to speak of Jesus and what he did for me. It was in the year 1905, September 23. I do remember well one day when out on pleasure bent, I got an invitation to a meeting in the tent. So just to please that person, I decided to go in. No love for God or Christ had I, for I was dead in sin. But ere that meeting ended, I was almost in despair. John 3.18 was a text that night the vicar chose. And scenes of death and judgment before my vision rose. Condemned already fearful words that fixed me to the sea. And man, I'll never forget that. And uh, one day a letter I received. And as I read its contents over, I on the Lord believed. H-A-T-H, those letters for, was simply underlined. I just took in what God had said and made his promise mine. Now many years has gone since then, but Christ remains the same. Eternal life he gives to those who trust his blessed name. Saved by the blood of Jesus, kept by his power alone. This my glorious privilege, seeking to make him known. And when I see my Jesus, I'll praise his blessed name for the grace that stooped and saved me from sin and hell and shame. Oh, sinners, come to Jesus. He'll make your life for you. And then at home in glory, you'll praise Jesus too. Yes, you and I together in heavenly mansions bright will praise the Lord that saved us from death and hell and night. Now, that's the end of that. But I put another little verse to it. You can call it the revised version. And here it is. And so I came to Jesus while standing on the roof. And in this good old Bible I have the glorious proof. While passing through this wilderness of sin and woe and strife, he that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. God bless you everyone. Shall we pray?